Hey guys, and welcome to Car Guy 1999 Reviews as well as Quirk Auto Dealers. Today we have the 2021 Ford F-150 Lariat. This is what I believe to be the perfect middle ground for the new F-150. Yes, the King Ranch is very, very nice. Love the Platinum. But this is all you need. Now this trim here, it is, uh, I think, textured plastic. It is soft touch, but it, in person, very much resembles blue jeans. It feels like blue jeans. It is really impressive. And that trim also is carried up front as well. This one's fitted with the 2.7 liter EcoBoost, made it to the 10 speed automatic. Uh, stone gray over Baja tan. Total price of $57,270. See, that's a good price for one of these. Yes, you can sit there, you can load them up to like 70, 80 grand. But this one, this is where it should be in my opinion. That's not shut. Options this one has, a oh, pretty basic uh, Lariat chrome appearance. The leather bucket seats with the console. Uh, in leather, I'm assuming. Tow technology pack and Ford Copilot 360 assist. So, pretty decently optioned, conservative, but has everything you would ever want. This is, if you need a one and only vehicle, want a truck, but you also want something that's comfortable to drive on a day-to-day -day basis, this is where I start steering people towards the Lariat. You know, you can sit there, you can get a King Ranch and have it be a beautiful truck. Platinums are absolutely amazing. But if you're on somewhat of a budget and you're like, listen, I can't see myself spending 70 grand on a truck. I just need a truck that's nice, but, you know, still basic enough to be affordable. That's where the Lariat comes in. I just noticed this Easter egg and I'm going to take a picture of it because I don't know if I've ever seen that before. So that is an Easter egg. It's an American flag on the side there. Now, you would never notice that until you go to open the door because you never see that unless you lean over. That is awesome. So, your camera, auto park brake ready, nice. Open that, just push that button. There's that textured denim-like material. Garage home link. This one does have um, stowaway shifter. But I want to know, does it have? I don't think it. I don't think it has the work tray. So, higher trim levels, unless I'm being stupid, and there's, and you just pull this with all your might, but I'm not going to sit there and break it. So that's where you can stow the shifter away. Ventilated seats, heated seats, everything you would ever need. Speaking of everything you ever need, drive modes. You have one for every single occasion. Eco, well, sport, eco, tow haul, normal, slippery, deep snow and sand, mud and ruts. We'll go back to sport. Go into features. You have all your driver's assistance, zone lighting, owner's manual. Just everything you would ever want or need. You can sit there and swap these two. So if you want the navigation bigger than the radio, you can do that. All right, let's go for a drive.
bunch of different engine options for the F-150. Um, you have this 2.7, you have the 3.5, you have the 3.5 power boost, and you have a 5.0. And I, you could have got a diesel, but that's going away as of, I think, July 17th. So it's already gone. Um, shame, I never got to try one, but hopefully I'll, I'll see him around. Yeah, I think I had an inline six diesel, just like the competition did. The Lariat, this one has a yeah, digital gauge cluster. Definitely a welcome addition, especially at this price point. That's where I sit there. It's like, yeah, I, I understand why trucks cost so much money, but you have to make it worth it. You know, if you sit there and you're like, why am I paying 50 grand, you know, 50 plus grand for something this basic? This one, I don't feel that way. This one's nice. You know, I look at the price tag and I'm like, oh, it could have been a little bit more than that, and I'd be, and I'd be happy. I do love the steering wheel. It wraps around your hands very, very well. Um, it's very. It's actually pretty large, which makes maneuvering in tight situations really, really easy. I can't believe that. I got to see the whole progression of that picture. That is gorgeous. over this rough terrain now I just drove an f-350 and I was like if you want smooth ride go f-150 or high trim f-350 this is impressive yeah it's bumpy but this road is awful this is one of the worst roads I think in Boston because <laughs> it's not really a publicly traveled road This I could drive every day. I will also say the Bang & Olufsen sound system is absolutely out of this world. It's awesome. Can't demonstrate it, of course, because of copyright. And even so, it wouldn't come across on camera how great it sounds. It's an awesome system. Ooh, excuse me. Amazing system. I got lucky with traffic until now, so I'm okay with this.
do the off camber test where it's like really off camber. A lot of times that turn, that off camber will upset a lot of four wheel drive or all wheel drive systems. Especially differentials too, that really doesn't like it. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one.